This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Fast Forward Fortress is part of the Fast Forward series. It's a two to four player card game where there's no rules. The rules actually are on the cards and you'll learn new rules as people begin to take cards. As they're dealt out, new people will see different things and then new rules will come which will change the portion of the game. Players will be collecting different sets of numbers and trying to get as many as they can so they have a good amount of attack value. They'll be secretly trying to take over fortresses by putting one or more cards underneath it. Once it's owned, other people can try to attack and take that fortress from them. If the attackers win, they get to take the fortress with their new attackers from the person who has it. If they lose, they at least get to see which defenders are underneath there for next attack. Throughout the game, our glasses will come out, and once three come out, the game ends. Whoever owns the most fortresses win. If there's a tide, whoever has the lowest number. At the end of each game, the winner puts all of their cards under fortresses out of the game for good. People shuffle up the cards they have and they add five new cards. So the game will be getting new cards into, infused into it after each game. Once the uh, pile is completely gone, you can bring these cards back in, shuffle them up, so you can continue to play the game a lot after you've gone through the entire system. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. I love this fast forward series where you learn the rules as you play the game. New rules come out, new cards come out, new abilities come out, different things change. Then even when you get through the entire game, which takes about 10 to 15 plays, you can continue bringing in the cards that you threw out earlier, shuffle them all in, start playing again, and every game's gonna feel different. I love that about this series. This game specifically, it's fun. It's got a little bit of bluffing element. It's got area control. You're attacking other people. Interesting strategies of, you know, uh, taking cards from other people fortresses and using those to immediately conquest other things uh, overall I really enjoyed it if you like area control games it's still rather light if you go into it knowing that I think you'll enjoy it there is a heavy memory element trying to remember which ones are there because sometimes you can see what the defense has for fortresses the, some games can end very abruptly even without a winner depending on the size of the play stack uh, but it's okay because you usually play a bunch in a row and there's a, definitely a decent amount of luck because a lot of times you're just drawing cards trying to put together a hand you might not get the hand you need if you go into it thinking I'm gonna like this because it's a light game that has new interesting twists i think you'll like it don't think it's some heavy game from freedom and freeze or else you'll probably be disappointed but i gave it a saxophone serenade because of its uniqueness and its replayability and it's fun but it's light this video was sponsored by miniature markets review corner the review corner features podcasts video and written game reviews by gamers for gamers miniature market the online gaming superstore thousands of board games discounted prices check them out at miniaturemarket.com Oh,